there's something very gratifying about living in a place where you don't have to lock your door. And, um, you know, and, and we take that for granted here. And I mean, I know that now living in Buenos Aires where, you know, you, you have to lock your door. But you really do take it for granted when, when you live here all your life. And um, it's just normal, you know, even though we feel like it's ours and we don't want to let it go. Um, I think it's probably just too good that we to keep for ourselves, you know, and the secret's out. Everywhere I go, the first thing people say is, oh, you're from Vancouver, oh, I love Vancouver, and um, I want to go there, I've been there, and they ask me, you know, all these different questions. Half the time I, sp I feel like I'm like a tourist, a tourism minister or something for, for Vancouver, but I mean, I'm really obviously, I'm a Vancouver boy. I mean, this is my happy place. And I did go to my high school. Right? Did anyone know you were coming? Nah, no, not a lot of people knew I was coming and I was terrified. I think that's probably the most nervous I've been. Really? Yeah, I was, well, because you know, you, you never, I never, you don't change. You're the same person that you always were and, and you always worry that people will think you've changed or you're worried that they've changed. And people just really grew up into really cool people, except for that one asshole. You're and he was still an asshole. And he was such an asshole. I'm sorry, but it's... Oh, I don't want to say his name. But like, we got there and everyone was like, Oh, he's here. Oh. 